Hi everyone, welcome to Cloud Sprint. In cloud and DevOps area, I see a mad rush to learn new technologies, which people don't realize that all the technologies which they are using or learning will be old few years later. They were built on a foundational technology which already exists. This video is about building that foundation to have a greater career in cloud and DevOps area. Been in this area for more than 10 plus years, building teams, recruiting for various organizations, I can tell you that these five books are must read books irrespective of at what stage of your career you are in. These books will help you to build a foundation so you can build softwares at scale. Let's see what are those five books. The first book is The DevOps Handbook. It is one of the best seller. This, this book basically offers a hands-on explanation of what DevOps is, shows how to imitate the achievements of high performing businesses. It continues the Phoenix project story by describing how business can embrace efficient practices while juggling between agility, dependability, security, and surpass productivity targets. It will prepare a foundation to understand what DevOps is, why we need it, how can you practice it, how to build softwares at scale, and how to build a business around it. That's really uh, one of the most recommended book to get started. Second video, once you have built your software, you need to ship it, you need to deploy it. The second recommended book from my side is the Accelerate, which is Science of DevOps. The Science of DevOps Accelerate. This book mainly focuses on technology organizations and assessing software delivery performance to generate business values. The faster you deploy, the more money you make. That's the business need. And to be in line with that vision of any company, you really need to accelerate your features to the customers. And this book will help you that how you're going to make strategies around it, how you're going to measure it, what is the techniques which businesses should use to produce more. So in the first book, you learn how to build things, how to second book, you learn how to ship things faster. If these two foundations are done, you have built things, you have shipped things. And again, the third recommendation is the site reliability workbook. Because when you build and ship things, you need to know how to run it at scale and who is better to tell about Google itself, the Google itself. This book has a lot of examples, live examples from various organizations. It basically emphasizes on how you can achieve reliability, effective outcomes while providing practical advices, suggested techniques, implementation of principal case studies and experience from the field, which is really from the real world. This is my third recommendation. This really, this, these three books will build a great foundation for you because you know what is DevOps, how it started, what all is needed to build a thing. Second, Accelerate will tell you how to deploy things at scale, how to frequently ship your features. And now you also know after reading this book that how to run those systems reliably at any scale. Since your career is built in this, the next phase of your career should be designing those systems because now you have understood the cloud world. It's time to give a boost to your career and start designing things. The fourth book I really recommend is Designing Patterns for Cloud Native Applications. It is basically around uh, patterns and practices which using uh, for using APIs, data, events, streams, because that's the future where the future will be. It is already in fact. Since businesses have started using the cloud, the notion of cloud native application have emerged. This is where already all big tech, tech giants are working on. And that is the future only. This book will teach you the basics of cloud native apps and provide a helpful how to manual and essential design principles for creating, developing, deploying, maintaining and using them at scale. This book will create a great foundation how to work on APIs, how to work on events, streaming because when you, you can go ahead and learn Kafka but if you don't know all the possibilities what a streaming system can do, you know, it, it's not a great way to learn new technology. If you understand what are options in streaming, then you will know that what a Kafka can do or what a pops up can do. That's what my advice is that this is a fourth book. The fifth book, which I'm going to uh, assign could be a little controversial because uh, generally DevOps or as cloud professionals are not very much interested in that. But uh, uh, I personally feel that you must read that book if you want to be relevant, stay relevant in the industry. That is designing data intensive applications. 
right? This is, I, I understand that you don't, you might not need to build, uh, you know, data intensive applications, but knowing the history, what are the offerings a data system have evolved within uh, last 50 or 100 years is really, really helpful. This is the best selling book. Uh, it is a requirement read for anyone working on data or the contemporary applications. It illustrates a variety of data handling characteristics including scalability, consistency, dependency, efficiency, right? So this book will prepare you for that how to do big data correctly, what, how to maintain data scalability, how can you maintain data, uh, its consistency, what, how to manage dependency. This book will talk about the historical thing as well as the new thing. So you can, when you're learning a new technology, say you're learning Cassandra, if you don't know the basic technology behind that how, which, what was the foundation while building Cassandra? What was the foundation while building any new database, right? So I really recommend uh, this. You might be a video person, don't like reading much, maybe just like me. So, um, but these five books will really have built a great foundation for your, and you must uh, purchase and go through them. I will put the links in the description. If you want to read them, you can read them as, as the way you like it. I really hope this helped you and you would be going ahead and reading those books, which I just recommended. All the very best. Thanks for watching this video. Consider subscribing to this channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.